and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Meet the Ghanaian policy advisor behind Nigeria's rice production boom. Nigeria's president, Mohamedou Buhari, launched what has been described as the country's single largest rice pyramids ever assembled, to confirm its success in achieving a bumper harvest of the produce. The record 9 million metric tons produced in 2021 was out of a deliberate policy plan, implemented at least over the last seven years, to increase production of the staple to meet local demand of about 7 million metric tons per year. Although the program is led by the Central Bank of Nigeria, the contribution of a Ghanaian, former member of parliament for Twifo Ati Morkwa, Abraham Dwuma Odum, is being celebrated. I can see your passion about the pyramids in Nigeria. Yes. So what are you going back home with? I'm going back home with an African solution works. African solution works. When I came here in 2014, under the program of Competitive African Rice Initiative, and I visited my states and the local government areas, the morale of the farmers was very low because of low productivity. Then as a leader, I recognized two things. Create inspiration, get results. Once you create the inspiration and you get results, things will turn round. I was the policy advisor, so I was to be served as an advocate between the farmers and the government. The first meeting I called, the central bank governor, the central bank governor was there, customs, IGP, all the stakeholders involving rice production were there. Then we sat at the table and I asked a question. I've been to Benin Cable, I've been to Zamfara, I've been to Jigawa, I've been to Sokoto, I've been to Kaduna, I've been to Lokoja, I've been to all the Kano, I've been to all these places. Tell me why Nigeria is important right now. Tell me. I want somebody to tell me. Because in all these things, Benin Kebi alone can produce all the rice for Nigeria. So uh, Nigeria now has a story to tell. Nigeria has a story. Because all my mind was that if Nigeria gets it, Nigeria is the giant of Africa. If Nigeria get it, the whole of Africa will get it. Mr. Odu was a policy advisor, providing technical support and direction for the program that could be a blueprint for other African countries towards food self-sufficiency. Nigeria has demonstrated to the whole world that we have an African solution to an African problem. I know that if Nigeria gets it, right, the whole of Africa will get it, right too, he told pressmen, at the launch of the pyramids in Abuja. Long before becoming a member of Ghana's seventh parliament, Mr. Odum in 2014 developed the concept note for achieving rice self-sufficiency while serving as policy advisor under the Competitive Africa Rice Initiative in Nigeria. As part of his duty, he toured the various states and local governments known for rice production in the country, took note of the concerns of local rice farmers, and began putting together a formula that will incentivize rice farmers and lead to adequate local production. After forming working groups at the local government, state level and federal level to champion the cause, he called the first major meeting involving all stakeholders including the governor of the central bank, Godwin Emmerfield, and customs offices, to fashion out a workable solution. One of the major outcomes of that deliberation and the consistent push for rice self-sufficiency was the bold decision of the central bank to boost local agricultural production and reverse the country's negative balance of payments on food. The program known as the Anchor Borrowers Program ABP, provided financing to local farmers in loans through commercial banks and listed rice, among other products Nigeria had the capacity for production for is not valid foreign exchange items. Before the program, Nigeria imported 1.3 million metric tons of rice from Thailand alone, but according to Godwin Emmerfield, that, however, dropped significantly to only 2,160 metric tons in 2021. When I came here in 2014, I visited the states and the local governments. The morale of the farmers was very low because of low productivity. I recognized that we needed to create inspiration and get results. I was the policy advisor, 
So I served as an advocate between the farmers and the government, Abraham Dwumer Odum said in an interaction with pressmen in Abuja. Eight years down the line, he is looking back with pride at the success of little giant steps he took with the local rice farmers in Nigeria that have resulted in the country celebrating its largest rice harvest. The Rice Farmers Association of Nigeria, Rifan, an umbrella body also born out of Mr. Odum's work, invited him as a guest of honor for his support and key role in helping them achieve the rice production success to their annual rice festival where the record rice pyramids were displayed. Abraham Dwuma Odum, a former deputy vice chairperson of Parliament's Agriculture Committee, said he is hoping to share the experience from Nigeria's success with other African countries. Mr. Odum was once a district chief executive of the Twifo Arti Morkwa district. After four years, he was appointed as deputy local government minister for two years and subsequently as the deputy for health. While serving as DCE, he mobilized resources from a bank, and the readiness of farmers brought in the pilot phase of what became the national mass spraying of cocoa in Ghana which led to the drastic reduction of pests and diseases on cocoa in Ghana. How Ghana's former deputy agric minister championed the Nigeria rice revolution. A former deputy minister for agriculture and member of parliament for Twifo Ati Morkwa Abraham Dwuma Odum has explained how the Nigerian government achieved the strides in rice production. The Nigerian government rice project has been in the news over the past few weeks after videos of huge pyramids constructed with bags of rice surfaced online. In an interview with journalists, Abraham Dwuma Odum explained that the key stakeholders, including the president, the central bank, governors, farmers and actors in the value chain collaborated to make the Nigerian rice industry what it is today. When I came here in 2014, under the program Competitive African Rice Initiative, CARI, and I visited the states and the local government areas, the morale of the farmers was very low because of low productivity. As a leader, I recognized two things, create inspiration, get results, he said. After meeting with the Central Bank of Nigeria governor and all stakeholders of the program, he realized that Nigeria possessed the capacity to produce enough rice to end rice import. In 2015, the Anchor Borrowers Program was launched by the Nigerian Central Bank. Under this scheme, farmers were given loans and technical support so they could increase yield and expand production while the Nigerian government limits dependency on imported food. In 2015, Nigeria banned the importation of rice. Since 2015, the Anchor Borrowers Program has heavily boosted the Nigerian agriculture sector by drastically reducing rice import. Bank of Ghana's buy-in needed to replicate Nigeria's rice production success, Dwuma Odum. The Bank of Ghana involvement will be needed to enable Ghana replicate the rice production success chalked by Nigeria. This is according to a former policy advisor of the Competitive African Rice Initiative, Abraham Dwuma Odum, who designed the model towards rice self-sufficiency. According to him, the results from the project in Nigeria presents a blueprint that can be replicated by other African countries including Ghana. Speaking on the point of view on City TV on Wednesday, Mr. Odum said the Bank of Ghana as a financial institution is a key stakeholder whose provision of finances will help achieve the desired results. Nigeria's president, Mohamedou Buhari, launched what has been described as the country's single largest rice pyramids ever assembled to confirm its success in achieving a bumper harvest of the produce in 2021. The record 9 million metric tons produced in 2021 was out of a deliberate policy plan, implemented at least over the last seven years, to increase production of the staple to meet local demand of about 7 million metric tons per year. The policy plan dubbed the Anchor Borrowers Program was championed by the Central Bank of Nigeria which gave loans to rice millers and input suppliers with farmers paid to supply set quantities to the millers. Mr. Dwuma Odum, a former member of parliament for Twifo Ati Morkwa, who was invited as a special guest for his contribution to the success, told Bernard Avil that mobilizing local farmers and reorienting all the stakeholders involved in the value chain will be a good step towards Ghana achieving a similar success. He said the Bank of Ghana must also be willing to give loans at special rates to millers to enable them lend to farmers to increase their production. Nigeria's template will work for Ghana if we can get the central bank's buy-in. 
The Bank of Ghana will be able to give loans to the banks to unlend to the farmers at a special rate. The Nigeria rate for instance was 9%. You can't take a loan at 35% and be competitive, he said, indicating that the current rates at which banks lend to rice farmers in Ghana was not helpful. He noted that Ghana has more than enough suitable farmlands across the regions for the cultivation of rice. Ghana currently produces about 900,000 tons of rice annually although consumption is far more than a million tons, and there have been several discussions about increasing local production of the commodity to meet the demands. The deficit gives room for importation of large quantities of rice which among other things increases the country's import bill. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.